Influenza A is one of the most common life-threatening viruses in the United States, each year infecting approximately 10% of the U.S. population and causing about 20,000 deaths. Influenza is normally transmitted by droplets or aerosols from the sneeze or cough of a nearby infected person. When another individual inhales the droplets, the virus has a chance to invade the cells of a new host. Influenza A contains a genome of single-stranded RNA segments, enzymes required for viral replication inside a host cell, and a shell of matrix proteins. The virus also has a phospholipid envelope with several embedded proteins, including a molecule called hemagglutinin, abbreviated HA or H, which plays an essential role in viral cell entry. An influenza virus binds to host cell receptor proteins that contain polysaccharides terminating with sialic acid. A sialic acid that is attached to galactose provides a recognition site for the virus's hemagglutinin protein. The sialic acid can be connected at different positions on galactose. This example shows an alpha-2-3 linkage between the number 2 carbon of sialic acid and the number 3 carbon of galactose. The avian influenza strain H5N1 recognizes mainly this alpha-2-3 linked version of the carbohydrate, which is found in birds. In humans, such carbohydrates are found only deep within the lungs, which may explain why the H5N1 strain, though deadly, is rarely transmitted between humans. In contrast, the upper respiratory tract of humans contains mainly alpha-2-6 link receptors, and it is to these receptors that human influenza A viruses bind. The hemagglutinin complex consists of a trimer of subunits. Each subunit includes a domain that passes through the viral envelope and a domain that binds to the sialic acid receptors on the host cell. For clarity, let's look at just one of these three subunits. For an influenza virus to become infective, hemagglutinin must be cleaved. An enzyme released from the epithelial lining of the human respiratory tract performs this function. The cleavage frees one end of a segment called a fusion peptide. The fusion peptide is hydrophobic and buried within the core of the hemagglutinin trimeric complex. The host cell takes up the virus by endocytosis. The endocytic vesicle then fuses with a lysosome, and its interior acidifies. The lowered pH induces a conformational change, shifting the receptor binding region back and triggering the fusion peptides forward to penetrate the vesicle membrane. A number of trimeric hemagglutinin molecules in the same region of the membrane mediate fusion between the viral and host membranes. The fusion process expels the contents of the virus into the host cytoplasm. The virus is ready to begin its replication cycle.